Hello everyone and welcome to my tier list for traders in Salem. Yes, so this is going to be the initial pre-alpha what I think everything is going to rank at tier list. So you'll you'll have to excuse me. This is going to change a little bit as time goes on. This is going to change right now. This was the predictive tier list that I did before we knew what Wilding and Transporter did and what some of the roles did. Uh, now that we have basically all of the rules revealed, we kind of have more information on that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of work through all of this. Uh, and I'm going to be rearranging some things as more information has been revealed to me. And I'll explain why I put everything where it is. But uh, if you haven't already, be sure to check in the description. There's going to be a link to the live stream that I'm going to be doing in exactly one hour from the upload of this video. So it's going to be party time. I'm going to be doing that both on YouTube and Twitch. So if you aren't already, make sure to go follow my YouTube, sub to me on here, check out the stream, whatever you guys want to do. And, you know, we're, we're going to be streaming for a pretty long time. Uh, but let's just get straight into this role or uh, not roll this tier list. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> Shall we? All right. So first of all, Banshee is a role that allows you to just block everyone from doing everything. Uh, and I, I would say that's still S tier. I don't know how long the actual ability itself is going to last. I don't know what the cooldown of that's going to be either, but it's still very powerful because that kind of negates Vigilante, Veteran, uh, Seer, you know, just a lot of people from being able to use their roles. And yeah, it's, it's gonna be really good. I, I'm, I'm having a feeling. Uh, Prosecutor, I'm kind of wanting to bump down to A tier because there is quite a bit of outplay to Prosecutor in that Prosecutor also dies if they prosecute a townie, much like how Vigilante works, right? Uh, at least that's, I, I'm, I'm almost certain that's how that works, if I remember correctly. Uh, my mind's a little rusty right now on this stuff, but I'd still say it's pretty powerful and uh, little known fact, if you prosecute a Jester, uh, that's going to activate the Jester's ability. We'll get into that later. So make sure that if you're going to prosecute someone, it isn't a Jester. Because that would be, like, rough. But the, the way that Prosecutor works is you can select someone to prosecute. It'll instantly put them on the stand. And it's kind of like a voting version of a Vigilante. It's kind of weird. Uh, except... I guess with Prosecutor, it'll just reset everyone over at the bell or whatever it's called, the, the lynch stand in the middle of the map. Uh, Arsonist is another pretty cool trader role. Uh, it's not quite powerful. It's not quite S tier, but it is still pretty powerful because it can make bodies just disappear. But it does take time for the bodies to disappear. So there's like a little animation where they go up into flames and then they like make all this smoke and stuff and then they just fade off as a little bit of dust. Uh, so it's not gonna be 100% like OP if you get my drift here. And then we have Mayor, which gives yourself the ability to have two votes. I'm a little iffy on this. I'm still not quite sure if it's going to be a role where you have to reveal in the middle of the day or if you can do that while you guys are in voting phase. That might change how I view Mayor, but it's still a very powerful role regardless because it gives you an extra vote. Uh, I would say it'd probably be B tier if you'd have to reveal that during the middle of the the like actual day phase as opposed to the, the voting phase. I don't know. I, I don't know what to call it. Just the, the move phase and then the vote phase. Uh, we'll figure that eventually. But then we have Necromancer which is a very powerful killing role. Uh, I would say even more powerful than Arso, but it isn't quite enough to push it into S tier in my belief. And essentially what that does is it just summons a little zombie dude and said little zombie dude goes off and then is like your little minion and goes and mercs someone for you, right? So it's, it's pretty powerful. It's just a little tracking thing and... Uh, from what the devs have explained, essentially what happens is the longer the zombie is alive, the faster and faster it moves. So it's a guaranteed kill unless there's like maybe a button pushed or something. I don't know how that'll affect it, but it's it's a guaranteed kill with that zombie. So it's, it's kind of rough. 
But then we go on to Seer, which is a very powerful town roll. Not quite enough to put it into S tier, in my opinion, because there is still a little bit of counterplay because you could be like, oh, Executioner, you know, whatever you want to say, right? Uh, and not everyone will believe you right away. But the way that it works is you select two people and it'll tell you if they're on the same faction or not. You have a limited number of uses from what I remember correctly. I think there's, is there five uses for it? I'll, I'll correct myself in the edit, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty powerful town roll. Then we have SK, which kind of, kind of gets rid of the whole buddying system in in the end phases whenever people just start clumping together and people do that regardless so you can get quick and easy double kills off of it so just keep that in mind it's a pretty powerful killing roll but it isn't quite uh it, it's like you know a solid a i would say maybe high b but i would stay say it's a solid a then we have cultists which We've have more information. I'm gonna put cultist as like honestly an A tier, and on it. No, actually, I'm putting cultist as an S tier because there is more knowledge that we have been given that cultists, all of their little minions can actually kill. So it's essentially just stacking like a bunch of minions on top of each other, and boom, just eventually like you'll have like four minions and then they just have the town just gone out of nowhere right uh so yeah, yeah cultist is definitely like op uh the way that i thought it had worked previously was you just convert someone and then they're just you know someone that's there they don't get to kill or anything like that which honestly i would kind of prefer that over the ability for them to kill so uh, yeah, and also we weren't quite sure if the cultists could kill themselves, which, you know, honestly, a good trade-off might be the cultist isn't able to kill, but their cult members are able to kill. That would be a pretty good thing. Uh, you know, I hope you're writing this down, BMG devs, because uh, that's a pretty good idea, if I do say so myself. Then we have the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor is solid B tier. It gives you the ability to just look at anyone's role. Uh, and that just depends on, you know, who all is in the game. So, eh, it's, it kind of sucks from, uh, depending on the whole town layout. It can save you from veteran or vigilante, but, you know, that's about it. Then we have King. King is, like, really good, but it's also kind of bad because you can knight someone that's actually a traitor. <laughs> you don't want to do that. So the way knighting works is it's, essentially like mayor except you give someone else two votes rather than yourself so you'll have like three votes in total essentially uh if it's someone that you trust that is so try not to give it to like a third imposter or anything like that either because that would be really rough uh I'm, I'm gonna stay stay at b tier for king because it could be really powerful but it also could like be booty right then we have poisoner which is just a delayed kill it's nothing really too special it, i think it they said that it takes five seconds for the kill to go off but eh, it's it's a b tier i i can see some uses for it but it isn't like completely trash you know then we have the fancy schmancy psychic which is just really good it'll tell you exactly who died by the way so if you know you're playing with uh our good friend trader russ if Trader Russ runs off with, for example, my friend Laura, uh, and there's a message that shows as Trader Russ has died as Psychic, then you know instantly, boom, that's Laura. So honestly, I'm gonna bump that up to A tier. It is really situational, but it's also really powerful information. So now we're kind of looking like a, a weird little squiggly graph, right? So then we have the Saint, which, hmm, like, I don't know if I want to keep it B tier or drop it to C tier because it isn't that good of a role uh, to a degree. It's essentially what happens is if you die, then the traders can't use their abilities. I really hope that I'm getting this right. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But if you die, then the traders can't use their abilities for X amount of seconds or something like that. If it's wrong, then I'll fix it in post. But 
I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Oh, there goes that. Rest in peace, my actual cup over there. Um, ignore that. Okay, so I actually like double checked to confirm <laughs> that's how uh, Saint actually works. It is kind of like a uh, I, I got you, Mr. President kind of role. So, I mean, hey, if, if that's your thing, like, you know, we can go for it. And hey, I might actually make a role list off of that. Imagine just like a Mr. President role list. That would be hilarious. But then we have the veteran. Veteran is exactly how it works in Town of Salem. But just in case you didn't know and you're just watching this to watch this, veteran, whenever you're attacked, you actually like pull out an Uno reverse card and they die instead. So uh, essentially, that's a pretty powerful thing and it can actually confirm yourself. So maybe A tier, but mm, I'd say B tier because you kind of have to have like some skill behind it. You have to be able to like kind of confirm that they're trying to murder you. Uh, but yeah, there, there's that. So now we have corner, which is, I would say mm, it isn't that bad, but it's also kind of really situational. Uh, coroner, you check a body and it tells you how long that body has been there for, like a dead body. Uh, and eh, I, I'm still wanting to say it's C tier because it's it's not really that useful. Uh, like there's a lot of like big braining you can do about it, but the amount of big braining that you could do from it is kind of like low. So I think C tier is a good place for it. Still a pretty useful role, but it's one of the less user less useful roles out of all of them now we have disguiser disguiser basically the same thing it's kind of it can be useful in some situations to frame some people but most people will like understand hey uh there's two of these people so and you can confirm that there was someone else on the other side of the map when something happened so then you can confirm that there's a disguiser you see this a lot with the the whole town of salem version of among us but uh, yeah, that's just how it is. Uh, Disguiser, you select someone, you sample as them, and then later on you can turn into them for a short period of time before you turn back into yourself. So that's how Disguiser works. Hexmaster is, mm, what did I say? If you don't keep track of Hexmaster, it's gonna be a B tier or an A tier even. So I'm gonna bump that up to B tier actually. And, well, no, no, all right. So I, I have a couple of roles in here that I'm gonna change like right away. Hexmaster, you go around and you can hex people. Once you hex everyone, they just instantly boom, dead, right? So, you know, do do with that what you will, but there are more powerful town roles. So I'm gonna, or uh, trader roles that I'm about to bring up. So I'm gonna actually just put this at the front of C tier. Uh, I am, you know, honestly, I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm not really organizing these like as in like best to worst in A tier or best to worst in S tier. Uh, but you know that this one is like honestly almost B tier, but it's still like not quite there. But let's get into Jester and Executioner. Originally, what we had thought was that Jester couldn't kill. And that was based on the actual roll card itself. Uh, a lot of the roll cards said that you can kill someone, but Jester didn't include that. The same thing with ex Executioner. But now that we know that Jester can kill people, instant S tier. Executioner is going to be, or uh, not Executioner, Jester is going to be really, really OP. Uh, because you can't be hung, essentially. And the only counterplay to you would be veteran vigilante or going for you last because there is there, there's a slight cooldown on its ability which if hung uh you will hang or you, you'll cause one of the uh you'll cause one of the people that guilty to die of guilt and then on top of that you'll be able to haunt someone which is just taking control of them and uh use them to just go and you know bop some people right so Jester is going to be really powerful. You can use that haunt ability multiple times as well. It's not going to be a single use like I had originally thought, but that one is a clear S tier now. Executioner, same thing. 
you have the ability to kill, but uh, that doesn't really add too much to its role because you still have to be really good at framing people. So I'm going to stick this at a solid B tier now. Vigilante, there is more utility to it now, so I'm going to put it in B tier. So Vigilante is just you go and bop someone, except you're a townie. Uh, if you bop the wrong person, you can die. Uh, you know, if you bop a townie, then you can die. But it's still not that good. Uh, honestly, Investigator... Wait, hold on. No, that's... This isn't... This isn't Jester. This is a completely different role. <laughs> and I just went on a whole tangent about Jester for absolutely no reason. That role is actually Illusionist. And I would say Illusionist would be a solid C tier, still. And the way that it works is Illusionist is kind of like Disguiser. You pick someone, and instead of like you turning into them, you'll spawn a little clone dealio that runs to the closest teleporter. And that's it. That's their whole entire role. Mm, I don't know how many people are going to be tricked by that, but, you know... It's not really that powerful in my opinion. Now, this is Jester right here. Again, I'm not gonna go on that entire tangent. Jester is S tier. Hands down, I had it in D tier. It's an S tier role. N no arguing about it. Then we have Investigator, which sucks. This is at the bottom of D tier. Honestly, might even be F tier but I'm gonna be generous because it's not gonna be, it, at least it has some ability as compared to no abilities. So you're, you're sticking at D tier. All it does is you check someone, you have like five uses or, or something like that. I don't remember how many uses each one of these have. And to honestly take the amount, like any of the cooldowns or uses that I say with a grain of salt, because they'll change. It's still an early alpha. The devs currently are focusing on making the game playable. That way, you know, it doesn't crash or anything like that rather than balance right now. That'll come at a later stage. So just take everything with a grain of salt and just know that, you know, there is changes to come and it will get more balanced as they get further into their alpha and beta testing. But uh, Investigator just sucks cheeks. All you do is check to see if, if someone has... Uh, has used their kill ability in the, like the past i don't know how long uh i think it may be like every trial phase but yeah i i don't know it's it's not that good of a role honestly but hey at least it has something look out it's basically the same thing all it does is just increase your field of view it isn't like another role that we're going to be talking about later but it also isn't that good of a role, in my opinion. So I'm gonna keep it at D tier. Same thing with medium. Medium is gonna be overshadowed by the fear of having a jester. Medium, the way it works is if you get hung, it's kind of like reverse jester. You actually get to reveal one person out of everyone and that person will be, or have their role revealed to everyone. So kind of like reverse jester, just like a ha ha that's what this person is kind of thing uh sheriff is literally kind of like you know investigator except sheriff uh says oh this person is suspicious or this person is not suspicious it's literally just how it works in town of salem it's kind of a just booty cheeks role uh by itself and then we have tracker i would like to put tracker in c tier because I, I kind of changed my mind. It can be pretty powerful if you get it right. Uh, townies can't see the ghost doggo that spawns from it, but it's going to be a pretty decent role, I'd say, uh, regardless, because it'll give at least you information. And if you get hung and it says your tracker, then hey, now they know. Okay, let's get on to, and oh, I, I'm not even gonna bother mentioning this. This is Trader. this is Townie. They're the base rules. This one just kills, this one just, exists they suck <laughs> so let's get into wild in the first role that i didn't know what did wild in has the ability to see through walls so this can help you set up for some pretty decent kills 
Uh, but where are we going to put this? And why are we going to put it there? I personally am gonna put it in B tier. So the reason why I'm going to put it in B tier is because it's a really useful trader ability, but again, it's in certain situations wouldn't be that helpful. Uh, but it's still a pretty powerful ability. The fact that you can see through walls and it extends your vision range is kind of like a better lookout, except, you know, it's used for a trader. So that's pretty powerful, if you ask me. Then we have Transporter. And the way that I understand Transporter works is you can use teleporters. That's, that's what I've kind of gathered from everything. Uh, and it's an instant use. You don't get to just sit in the teleporters like the traders would be able to. Uh, you just boom, instantly go about there. There's actually a different icon for traders and townies for the, the teleporters. So it's a pretty neat fact. I might include them here if I remember. I might not remember, no guarantees, sorry. Uh, I'm kind of busy trying to set up for this actual stream itself. But uh, I'm going to say that's a C tier because like honestly, using a teleporter can make you look really bad, like really, really bad, unless you have like probable cause for using the teleporter and have the ability to show it off. Uh, but I don't know if this has been fixed, but from what I've been told, there was actually a glitch with the transporter that like it didn't show the animation or something like that. Like the traders would just like hop in and then like get sucked into the teleporter, whereas the transporter would just instantly just zip out of there, like out of existence. But uh, yeah. I don't know if that's been patched. I'm pretty sure it has been because that's a pretty significant thing. Uh, but so far, this is what I have for my roll list. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know how excited you are for Traders in Salem. Uh, if you are excited for Traders in Salem, then go ahead and in the comments below, type in big hype. Just, just like that, don't no context or anything like that. And if you have any like suggestions or comments about this particular tier list right here, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Okay, okay, time out, time out, time out, time out. We have some big developments. There was actually a video just released just a little bit ago by the devs explaining about Cultist and it actually actually shows that cultist only has one convert so here's the deal i know i've already ended the video all right but cultist you're going to a tier it's still going to be really powerful because everyone will be able to maintain their roles but it's not as overpowered as okay you get to convert this person then this person then this person you know stuff like that so i, I think it'll be pretty decent I, I think it'll be all right but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video my name is shadow and i'll see you in the next one later guys